All right. Um, now we are going to see how to add the um, buttons, you know, in our Elementor page builder to our landing pages. Now, most of the times you will be coming across um, cases where you need to apply call to action buttons. For example, after writing or in the middle of your sales copy, you want a customer to click you know, to click a button, either the button is to direct the customer to your WhatsApp contact or to a payment page. But in whichever case, um, you often come across buttons in landing pages. Now, there are several, or let me say there are majorly two ways to add buttons to your landing pages. And one of them is by creating the buttons from the Elementor page builder using the Elementor elements. And another method is by using an image, okay? Downloading button pictures. For example, add to cart. You can get to Google and search on Google, download those images, and then you then use the image element and place those things in your landing pages. So these are the different ways you can add buttons to your landing page. Right now, let's get to um, to practice. Let's see how to do that. Now, if you visit our landing page, this is a page that we were building, and this is a preview of that page that we, we did. Okay? All right, let me get connected to... Um, to my network so we can get started now. Um, first of all, we are going to reload this page, right? We are going to reload this page so that any changes we are now... In fact, while you are designing your landing page, do ensure that you save your page to ensure that any elements or changes you make are not lost. Right, the page has loaded now. So let's say we want to add something here. So we want to add button at the middle. Let's go with these three columns. Now and click on this. Then from your element here, move the button button and then you add it here. All right. And when you've added here, click on here. By the left hand side, too, you see alignment. Ensure you center it or you can move it to any place you want to move it to. Okay, so you can add your buttons anywhere. Now you can choose the overall one column and then drag your button down here. And then you can centralize it here. Now we have the size here. We have small size, medium, large. You can choose a large size here. If you don't need these rounded corners here, you are going to go to the styling. As you said initially, you can style your um, buttons. You can change the text here from click here. Let's say order now. All right, order now. Now you can make this a success. You can choose this an info, right? Any of them you want to choose. But let's go by default here. Now go to your styles and um, in your styles here, this is where you can change the color of your button. Now you can change the color of your button. Remember, we picked a color here called blue color can pick it here and then you place it here, all right? So this is your color now. Click on update, update, all right? So now you can always change the font size here. You can remove the border radius here. You can make it zero so that there'll be no borders around here. That's the radius. Those curvatures towards the edges of this button. Okay, so you can set that to zero. And then, um, one of the things you can do is you can click on the hover here. So what happens when you hover your mouse around the button? And one of the things you would like to do is to change the background color of this button. And for you to do that, let's take, for example, while we hover our mouse around the button, this other noun button, we can decide to change the color of that button from blue to any other color of your choice. Right, so for you to do that, by the left hand side, ensure that you've ticked your, you have clicked the button. We've selected the button, right? Now, in the color, click on it and then we can change it to orange color here. So anytime I hover the mouse around that button, it's going to change the color from blue to orange. Now, 
um, you can as well change the text color. Remember that the default text color we chose here is white. Okay. Now, when you hover your mouse around the button, you can as well change the font color from this white to any other color. But I'll be leaving it to white. So let's leave it that way. Now, we also have the hover animation. Now, you can decide to add some animation effects to your buttons. For example, you want it to pause. Now, when you hover your mouse around it, you can see the effect it's having on that button. So we have different types of hover animations around here. So it's left for you to make your choice. We have pop, okay? We have pop up here, all right? So it's left for you to make your choice and then you go for anyone you want to go, all right? Bounce in, and uh, move it bounces in, okay? And um, we can also change the typography here. The order now, you can change the font size, you can change the, the font weight, you can increase the letter spacing, you can increase the word spacing here. All right, you can add decoration such as you want it to cancel through. All right, let me say order now. Maybe you are writing a price. Let's say the initial price here should be maybe 5,000 there and you are canceling it. So you can apply the line through effect here, the line through effect to the font. All right, and also you can use the overline, underline, you can use default here, or you can just anyone you want to go here. All right, you can choose the italics, you can choose normal, and choose any here. So let's go by default. You can choose uppercase, lowercase, capitalize, and normal. So this is the normal, the default. Okay. Now, so this is basically how to apply add buttons to our um, to our page. Now, I've also said earlier that we'll be, we have a special section where we'll be covering the advanced section of this Elementor page builder, where we are going to see how to apply other animation or styling effects to our element on a page like this. So thank you so much for joining me in this lesson, and I'm expecting to see you in our subsequent class.